James here with DragonBlogger.com. Today I figured I'd show you guys the Quack Quack 4K TV streaming box. This is the M9C Max. You know, I've already unboxed it for you guys. I've walked you through some of the settings. I've uh, showed you some other stuff. But today I'm going to actually take you into the bedroom. I'm going to show you it up on a projection screen. I, um, I have it playing in my uh, bedroom off a projection screen. This is the actual box. This is the Qualqua M M9X Max. This is a 4K uh, box. But I'm going to take you in my bedroom because I actually have it uh, hooked up in my bedroom on a projection screen. I'll show you it up on the wall. I'll actually show you guys it playing a movie on there. I'll walk in to show you how to do that. I have some of my movies on flash drive so you guys can see it. I want to give you guys a little glimpse of how it looks besides on like a monitor or something. I want to just give you guys... Little little advantage of seeing it up on a big screen. See the difference? I mean, sometimes you can see difference, sometimes you can't. But if you guys give me a few, I'll switch over and let you guys see that up in there. Okay, as you can see, I'm in my bedroom. You guys can see it up on the wall. I hope you guys can see this. It's a rather large screen. This fits across my whole wall. It's approximately 120 to 120 inches. Now we're going to power on the box. As you guys will see, it'll come on. Here you go, the S90-95X Amlogic 64-bit quad-core. Um, here's the load, logging on screen. Pretty cool. It's a little different. I hope you guys can hear me. I know when the movie comes on, you guys probably won't be able to hear me because I actually have a big sound bar connected. I actually have a... a 38 inch I believe or 40 inch sound bar behind me on the wall to Vizio. Here you are the load screen. I've showed you guys the screen before. You have the online videos. You have YouTube. I'm sure you guys have seen the YouTube play. I mean it looks good up on my wall. It runs smooth. I have it wireless right now. If you guys can see. Here's the Star Wars trailer. As you guys can see, that's playing without sound now. You got the, I mean, the picture is clear. It runs smooth. I have no no lag as of right now. That's wireless. Let me pull you over to file browser. You can go to local disk or you can go into your uh, flash drive. I have a hooked up flash drive. We're gonna pull it up. You guys see all my folders. You know, slideshows and stuff. We're going to go down in here. Um, well, maybe all right, this will play. Let, let, let's see if this will play. Just once. Now I'm going to play this unmuted. Disclaimer, this product was provided to the author to do a review. All opinions are 100% authors and authors alone. For more information. As you can see, it, it, it plays well. We're going to go down and grab an actual movie now. That was our uh, Dragon Blogger stuff. Mm. Uh, maybe we'll pull this one up. Not sure how far it'll play in. But, you know, if we have to skip forward, we can skip forward some. Now we're playing. Like I said, the movie comes in good. It plays. We'll take the sound off so you guys can hear some sound. Okay, I'll call you later. Bye. Looks good. It plays smooth. There's no, no issues. But like I said, this is actually through the flash drive. 
I just wanted to give you guys a little glimpse of that. We'll skip forward some. Here's some more movies. But it plays well. Now we'll grab some music. I apologize if this is a little out of your guys' taste. This is all I actually have on here for music, right? Well, actually, I have something else. Let me pull this up. If I can find it. Let's do this one. Oh. Music plays great. But that's pretty much it. I just wanted to give you guys a little glimpse of how it works, how smooth it is. It's, I've had some hands-on time with it. I'm going to actually switch views and finish talking, if you guys give me a few. Okay, now that you've seen it, it plays, it runs great. I have no complaints about this box whatsoever yet. I've been using it for a few days now. I haven't had any issues. I see no difference between wired and wireless connection in my house. That may be because of my um because of my internet, but I wouldn't see you guys have an issue with this. Flash drives work great. I've tested this with a micro SD card, works fine. No issues. I've had keyboard and mice hooked up to this. Perfect working no hiccups I would love to see a wireless keyboard and mouse for this in my house I may have to grab one at some point maybe a company will send it to me to review either way about it I don't see no issues I don't think you guys will have an issue with this box whatsoever I technically can't test it at 4k right now for some reason when I hook it hook it up my cord drops and it's actually my HDMI cord it's not the box because I took this to the neighbors and it worked on their 4K TV. So my cord is actually bad. I'll have to get a new cord, not a big deal. But like I said, I can't give it a full test. I can only go into my neighbor's house for a couple minutes to test it out to make sure it was working on 4K, which it does. It comes in great, awesome coloring. My computer is 4K, it's working, but I had to take the cord out. Like I said, I think I broke the cord when I took my computer apart. May have bent it one too many times, happens. So now I'm back to regular, you know, cords. It is what it is. But this Qualcomm M9C Max 4K box is nice. You can add all the apps you want, Netflix, Hulu, anything. As long as they're on Google Play, you can put them on there. Or if they're in a website with the download, so you can add the app or like the app to a computer like you do with a computer, you can add it to this as long as it's Android compatible. Um, there may be some more stuff coming for this. I'm sure they got some more updates for this to come in the future. Works great. I'm using the sound through this. I actually have it through this onto a sound bar through auxiliary jack. Now I would love, or actually the, the sound's coming through this from the HDMI to the sound thing, but it's from my projector. It's going to, um, through AV cord. I don't actually have a SPDIF um, fiber optic plug, so I couldn't test it that way, but I don't see no issue with that. You guys won't have no issues. This box, it's better than the Fire Stick. Spanks the Fire Stick. You have, you know, Fire Stick, I get drops all the time with Fire Stick. I have issues with Fire Stick. You don't even have to log into your Amazon account with this like you do with the Fire Stick. You, I mean, you have to log in with the Fire Stick with the Amazon account or Makeup account. This Quack Quack box works great. I highly suggest it. And, um, thank you for checking out my little walkthrough and review of the Quack Quack box. And I hope you guys enjoyed the little view up on the wall showing you guys some video play, some music. Um, if there's anything else you guys want to know about this box, Please leave it down in the comments. I'll try to test as I can. I'll get back to you, let you guys know. And uh, keep your eyes out for the written review on dragonblogger.com in the next few days or so. Thank you.